Perfect. Nope. Oh, oh. Sorry. How much is it? Twenty pounds. That's a bit much, is it not? It's very in the season. What? What the hell? It is the season after all. Oh. There you go. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ah, Glühwein. The original recipe is created by my great-great-grandmother. Passed down generation to generation, slowly honed over yeah, years. Yeah, okay, 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 we get it. You want to buy some? 
Or do you wish to continue to cast doubt on its fine heritage, hmm? <clears throat> Sorry, um, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Ah, Prost, my friend, Prost. Slajva. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it's, uh, sorry. There you go. Keep the change. Thank you. All right, hand, I should more. Oh. I can't wait until tomorrow. I'm so excited. Here. What is this? It's an early Christmas present. <laughs> Oh. oh, Nikki. It has a compass on it, so you'll never lose your way. Thank you. Um, you know what? I've actually kind of got something for you as well. What did you get me? Is it the silver? Oh. What is that? Rob, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting my best trousers dirty. So I've been contemplating the best way to bring this up. <laughs> it's okay if you couldn't get me the 12 carat earrings. Nikki. Would you do me the honour of the Rob, no, stop. We've talked about this. I'm not ready. That was three years ago. I'm sorry. Look, Nikki, I, I love you, and I don't see how we need anything else. Rob, I do love you. I just... I don't know if I'm in love with you anymore. So where's this going? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. Keep the change. Oh, cheers, thanks a lot. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I have a funny suit on. Oh, no, I was there. I'm one of Santa Bells. Hi, can I help you? I'm sorry, I'm... I think I'm lost. I, I'm actually just looking for... Who's at the door, babe? Je Jen? What's going on here? Go inside, pal. We're gonna finish getting ready for Santa, eh? <laughs> Do you two know each other? Yeah, you know, um, we used to work together, you know, when I did the, uh... But why are you here? So you're his, um, his wife, yes. <laughs> Great! 
No, because I've heard nothing about you. What's going on here? I'm sure Jen's just dropping off some Christmas presents. Oh. Can you give that to Santa for me? Sure. Yeah, I'll give that to Santa for you. Merry Christmas. You know, no offense. God! None taken. What? No offense taken. Right. very happy for a man holding an engagement ring. No. Right, um, I'll leave you to it. If you wouldn't mind, yeah. Sorry. It's all right. I think we missed the last train. Not really? The last train isn't due till six. I've been sitting here for two hours. The snow must have taken some of the lines out. Nothing's getting out this far. Well, that is great. Of all the days to be stuck out here. It's not ideal. Yeah. So, um, where are you heading to? Glasgow. Same. Do you not have anywhere out here to stay? No. Me neither. Not anymore. I'm Jen. Rob. You know, Christmas is the best time of year to make new friends, right? Is that right? Absolutely. Especially when you drop a few. moves in. Out with the old, and with the new, all of that. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And Christmas is supposed to be about joy, giving, and 
being surrounded by those you love. Or, you know, those you have literally just met. You? You talk a lot. Yeah. Just trying to fill that dead air. So why are you out here alone on Christmas Eve? Let's just say today didn't go as planned. You and me both. Yeah. Like I said, all men are... Illegitimate. Done. I got it. Let's team up. I beg your pardon? Look, we are both going the same place. So surely if we, we pull our resources, we can get home. Come on. No, we're not to be alone at Christmas. And say we do. But I have to listen to more cliches like that. Without a doubt. Tis the season. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a Christmas nut. <laughs> Just wait till you get to know me. Hey, what's our game plan? Oh, bingo. Local taxi company. A taxi, you're kidding. Why? Because it'll cost a fortune. Christmas, I'm sure we can haggle. <clears throat> I, I promise I won't break it. You're wasting your time. Shh. Trying to save the day. Hello, do you have taxis? Hello? Hi, yeah, um, can we have a taxi at the train station, please? Hey, all right, Yeah, it's uh, going to Glasgow. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what is it? Oh, no, hang on, wait a minute. Would you like the regular play or the stayed? What, what was that? Expect on Christmas Eve, it would be a six hour round trip for a driver who'd risk it. Well, you know, what about festive spirit? Goodwill to all men and all that. It froze to death 20 minutes ago. Come on, what are we doing? Well, do you have anyone that can come and pick us up? Parents? They're on a cruise, yours. Don't drive. Well, who doesn't drive nowadays? Yeah, all right, Judgy. Yes, I know where we can get a car. I thought you had nowhere to go. Would you just trust me and come on? Do you know what? Stay here, freeze your plums off. I'm going. Okay. Okay, I'm coming. What are we doing here? Procuring transport. Procuring? Yeah. Oh, I'll just be a second. Wait, wait. Look at me. This is about you. I'm 
For Santa, I'm working for him. Yeah, so I um had to get him some keys. Magic keys. Yeah, yeah. Um, not all houses have got chimneys, so I need to give magic keys to Santa so that he can get in on Christmas Eve. But why can't Santa get his own magic keys? Uh, uh, yeah, he can. But every house has got a different lock, so I need to come in and get the keys for that house. Noah, why are you hiding in a cupboard? Because my mum and dad are shouting. Oh, uh, yeah. Noah, you are the best boy. Seriously, Santa talks about you all the time. You are the top of his nice list. Um, I need to get out of here so that I can get your letter to Santa. So, you need to help me get out without any grown-ups seeing me. Why can't the grown-ups see you? Oh, because grown-ups ruin magic. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so if you check out there and make sure that there's no adults out there, can you do that for uh -huh. me? Thank you so much, Noah. Merry Christmas. This one. Ah, <laughs> oh, he can't be serious. It's fine. Let's go. waiting a few streets away, then why were you waiting for a train? It's my exes. It can't be that bad a breakup if you let you borrow his car. Yeah, right. Remember how I mentioned that all men are bastards? Yeah, yeah, yes. Within two minutes of meeting me, you said it twice in fact. Yeah, well, mostly I was talking about him. But, you know, I am sure he will understand that when he finds out he loaned me his car. No. Not yet. No. Have we just stolen this car? Stolen? <laughs> Such an ugly word. <laughs> no, you're shit. Oh god, I'm in a stolen car. It's gonna be the first Christmas to spend not just alone, but alone inside of a prison cell. You, you, you're an actual crazy person. Would you calm down? I mean, so what? Jock, I hope he cries like a baby when he finds out this is gone. He is a lying, cheating bastard. He deserves everything he gets. Oh, he loves this car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, he does know the meaning of the word love. I am going to roll this sexy place of shit over a mother. Jay! Jay wants to run! Stop!
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Would you like me to drive? No. I'm okay. I'm okay. We can do it. Okay. God, the weather is horrible. It's fine. Just because we're up high. All Scottish mountains have snow on the top. God, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were a meteorologist. Here, please. Please! Don't make me beat you to death with a thesaurus. God, pardon me. I'll try and limit myself to less than two syllables from now on, shall I? There's something coming towards us. Fancy car you've got. You don't see many of them in the road. God. Oh, right. I thought they were pretty common. No. No, a car like that definitely stands out. Right. Does it? I think it would be best if you both stepped out of the vehicle and come into the police car. Look, this was all her idea. It had absolutely nothing to do what with me. Say, you... <laughs> I'm just saying it was her that took the car. I would have stopped her if I'd known. What are you saying? He's just, he's saying he wanted me to bring the Jeep. But you know, I, I didn't think it was going to be this bad, so I convinced him to come in there. Who are you two making for? Prison? Glasgow. Glasgow? Oh, no chance. It's only going to get worse. The road's a bit of a mess. Best give up before you get stuck. Where have you just come from? Bridge of Orkney. But it wasn't so bad down there. It's up here the snow's falling faster. So I think we're going to take a chance. Thanks, though. Ach, you're mad. They'll never make it. Find somewhere warm and bed down for the night. We'll be OK, thanks. You total grass! Are you kidding? We just got stopped by the police in a stolen car. You totally stuck me in it! And you totally just made me an accessory to Grand Theft Auto. And yet you're not in prison. You're welcome. Look, let's just get going. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What? He's literally just said the road's impassable. He didn't say it was impassable. He said the snow was thick up here. We'll be fine once we got off the mountains. And it's worth the risk. Well, it's either carry on or sleep in the car. Now, I'm happy with either, so long as you don't mind getting cosy. Just... Just drive. Slowly. On the first sign of the weather turning bad, we turn around, agreed? Trust me. Last time you said that, you stole a car. Stop, stop, stop it. We'll burn out the clutch. Can you see the road? No. No. Well, that's that then. We're not going anywhere. Jesus Christ! I said we should turn back. We were warned. 
But did you listen? Did you? Hell, and now here we are, freezing to death in the middle of nowhere. It's true. Hey, at least I don't have to worry about going to prison for Grand Theft Auto, but it's a shame in the way, because Big Bobo, my cellmate, could have kept me warm. Do you know what? I know I've, I've only known you about five minutes, but I've got a wee observation to make. You are incapable of listening to anyone. Trains cancelled, taxis say it's too far, the police say it's too dangerous, but you, you steal your ex's car and you almost kill him! You're terrifiable! No, 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 don't, don't, don't cry. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, all right? I know it can be a bit of a dick, but please, please don't cry. Oh, I'm just screwing with you. I can cry on cue. It's getting on my party trick. But you're really mean. You can't speak to people like that. Seriously? Yeah! Don't be a dick! Yeah, don't... Don't be a dick. <laughs> Did you feel better? Do you know where we are? I think so. I'm pretty sure there's a village just up ahead. How does that help us? Nothing's getting out this far. Well, they will obviously have a recovery truck or a, a plough or something. Like, they, these wee villages need to be prepared for this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, we'll just call them up. We'll say, hey, can you send your recovery truck or your plough or something on Christmas Eve? Or are you just planning on stealing that too? Oh, bag, are you going to grass me in again? I don't see how I'm the bad guy here when you stole a car. Look, if you aren't calling the fuzz, I really want to go home for Christmas, so can we please just try? Well, we sure as shit can't stay here. Have you got enough stuff? No, probably not. Oh, what are you... No, I can manage. So, what happened? I think it was a combination of the low body and the tires just know. not being equipped. I mean, you obviously weren't supposed to be on your own on Christmas Eve waiting for a train, so what happened? Oh, come on. Your story cannot be as bad as mine. Oh, really? So what's your story? Yeah. You see? You don't want to talk about it any more than I do. Smart ass. Look, will you please just let me carry some of those bags? I think I can carry a couple of bags by myself. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Smarters. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, oh. Okay. If it stops you from following your arse, you can carry some of my bags. Why are you carrying all that crap? I'm not. You are. Right. Yeah, well, not all of us are as good as being alone as you are. Oh, God, I'm sorry that came out wrong. Um, I don't mean it's that. Hello, guys. Forget just, it. I... Let's get going. We need to get to the village before it gets dark. Yeah, sure. God, I picked a great time to quit smoking. Yeah, I think we're lost. I might actually be able to do something about that. My watch has a compass. Oh, fancy. Yeah, it's also only a couple hours old. 
Are you sure you know how to work it? Yes. I've got my gold Duke of Edinburgh. Oh, well, I feel completely reassured. We're going that way. Do you say so? Trust me. Lead on, Macduff. Don't be shy. Your mother wasn't he? <laughs> Sorry about them, the harmless postman. Now, how can I help you? Your car gets stranded a few miles back. Um, do you have a, a tow or a, a plough or anything nearby? Aye, aye, there sure is round at McLaren's garage. Brilliant. Do you have a number? Aye, I'll, I'll get it to you. Uh, they'll be open first thing, Boxing Day. Boxing Day? No, no, I need to go home tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, pet. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> Look, I know it's Christmas Eve, but my friend here really needs to get home. We'll pay anything. Oh, it's not just a matter of money, son. It's snowed in. Snowed in. The snowplow snowed in. How's that even possible? Garage door. Won't open. Uh, the plough is on the wrong side of the door. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I think this is it. It's OK. Staff, do you think we could get back anyway? Do you have any rooms left? You're in luck. There is one room left at the inn. One room? Mm-hmm. Last room in the house. We'll, we'll just have to make do then. It's a twin, yeah? No, it's a, it's a double. <laughs> right. It's fine, we'll take it. No, I'll just, I'll just keep down in reception. Oh, I'm very sorry. That is uh, against hotel policy. Come on. We'll, um, we'll top and tail, you know, with pillow dividers like you did when you were a kid. I don't know. I promise my feet don't smell. You know, I've seen a lot of things from behind this desk. A lot of beautiful women trying to avoid getting to bed with strange men, but uh, never the other way around. You're calling me strange? You're calling me beautiful. I'll need a credit card. Or oh, debit card. Or oh, pound of flesh. That's just my wee, wee joker. Prefer plastic. I'll get this. No, seriously, let me... No, honestly, I'll get the room. You got the car. Touché. It is your card, right? Right, well, it's uh, top of the stairs, last room, on the right. Thanks. There's just uh, one more thing. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, thank you. Twenty quid says he gets his home before midnight. Whoa, I'll take that bet. Uh, Thirty quid, did you say? Twenty. Twenty. All right. Here you are, did. You still owe me fifty quid. What number did he say again? He didn't. He said last on the left. Are you sure about that? I think he said right. I know my left from right. Hmm. Okay. Well, you might want to have a little word with your fancy compass. Watch thing. Why? Because this isn't Bridge of Orkey. It's Glen Cole. 
We dumped the car and doubled back on ourselves. And how is that my fault? Oh, I've got my gold Duke of Edinburgh. Who needs a compass upside down? Don't want to talk to you, all right? Chris! Wow. Quick! You come back here and apologise to this lady! So sorry. Apparently I can't do anything right at the moment. No, on, don't worry about it. See, these boys are tough. Well, yes. And then eventually they grow up to be adults. Yeah, nothing worse than adult males. They're the worst. Must be this one, then. Where's the leg? This is... Well, it is nothing that uh, but a tinsel and a, and a tree won't fix. Oh, excellent. Well, just give me five minutes. I'll pop out, I'll chop down a pine tree. We can plant it in the toilet. Awesome. What's in these bags? What's in these? It's undelivered Christmas presents. Undelivered? Yes. Undelivered. Okay, well, you can have the bed. I'll be fine here. Shower's free. Uh, no, no, you're all right. You really should get changed. You'll get ill. Yeah, yeah, well, I haven't got anything else, so... There you go. Merry Christmas. Uh, is this, is this not for someone? No, not anymore. Are you sure? Because you don't want someone to... No. I won't get yourself sorted. Go. Right, right. Uh, maybe we can go down to the bar and get some dinner. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a wee dram to warm us up. Sure. <laughs> Most we deserve it. You drink whiskey? Can I, um... What are you doing? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Aww. it's not happening. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh. Yours? Yeah. 
Sorry. Sorry, I, I didn't mean no, to... No, no, um... Ed, it, 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 it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's, uh, it's just... No, 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 you don't have to explain. I don't, I don't even know what I'm still doing with it. It's uh, a bit of a story. Do you want to? No. Um, no, thank you. I'm fine. Did you say something about whiskey? Listen, I am here. Jen. Whiskey. Chris. Night of the living dead in here. Yeah, well, we'll soon fix that. Merry Christmas! Here's to you, pet. Come on, we'll go get a drink. I want my 20 quid back, by the way. He is pulling hee-haw in that jumper. What a turn off. Oh, did he lose your nerve the night is young? No, nah, she's mm. hardly setting the world on fire mm. wearing hers. <laughs> evening all. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Settling in. Huh? Chosen your side of the bed? Yes, thank you. It's the bit touchy. Ah, well, your pillow dividers will take good care of that. <laughs> we'll have two single malts, please. Any preference? Mm, surprises. But nothing too peaty. Ice, water. Neat for me. Anything for you? More whiskey. Easy done. Two large whiskies coming right up. So, uh, whether I got the best of you, did it? You could say that. Thank you. What about you? Car trouble? Oh, no, no, no. Frank and I come here every Christmas. Aye. We'd be buggered if I was left in charge of a turkey. Oh, that's no way to talk about your ex-wife. <laughs> How long have you two known each other? Oh, well, over 60 years now. 62 and a half years. That is a long time. Well, it is. Well, you see, my wife died six years ago and Frank can't stomach another divorce lawyer, so... <laughs> here we are. Aye, here we are. Two rowdy old buggers giving it loudly till we keep the bucket dancing. Well, I can drink to that. Aye. Sludge. I can't imagine knowing someone for 60 years. Uh, 62 and a half. Mm. How's the whiskey? Mm. Smooth. Caramel tones. A fine choice. You don't have a clue what you're talking about, do you? No, I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the taste. <laughs> No, it's not. Maybe you could help them out. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. No? Then what's with the guitar? Uh, I don't really play anymore. I used to jam with Mark. Mark? The bastard. Ah, right. Him. Yeah. Played together years back. Were you any good? We weren't bad. We gigged occasionally at one point. So what happened? Just life. You know, bills needed paying. I got busy with work, he got busy with other stuff. I was only ever okay, I was I was never gonna make a living at it. Do you sing? I did. Oh, go and get it. Seriously. 
Uh, I'd love to hear you play something. No, I, I only play for me, myself, and I. Well, that's a shame. Really, I wasn't that good. Yeah, but music is good for the soul. Yeah. I just don't feel like I've got much to sing about at the moment. I know what you mean. But sing anyway. There are sad songs. Just sad songs. So what is it you do for a living? Me, finance manager. Really? Yeah. Well, I had you down as a psychiatrist. What, do I talk that much? Uh, no, not enough. But you listen. Okay, time for a role reversal. I'll be the doctor, you be the rich patient. Really? And do you charge a steep hourly rate? <laughs> Absolutely. You finance wankers get paid way too much. And I feel that you have got a lot buried underneath the sand. Uh, Tough exterior. Yeah, I was going to say jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, actually, the whiskey and the cold has confused the hell out of my bladder, so I will be right back. <laughs> I will have whatever you're having, just not the Collins gink. <clears throat> Can I interest you in some traditional Scottish delicacies? Uh, what's good? It's all edible. Uh, fish and chips. Uh, no, sorry, um, it's all gone. Butter chicken? Sorry, need butter. Or chicken. Steak pie? Aye. Wait. No, I had the last one. Was it good? A bit dry, truth be told. Well, that's reassuring. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Steady on there, honey. Can I? Yeah. Trust me, you will thank me later. Jenna, were you uh, trying to impress someone? No. I was just a cute girl. Oh, is that the young lad out there? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. There we are. Less is more. You're way too pretty to be covering up with too much crap. You sound just like my dad. Yeah, well, sometimes, occasionally, like once in a while. That's all right. Just don't ever admit it to them. So, uh, are you going to make your move then? I don't know. I don't even know his name. Oh, it's um, Chris. I, I assume Christopher. Chris. Yeah. Oh, and Jen. Clara. Chris and Clara. It's got a nice ring to it. It's like Bodger and Badger. What? Oh, never mind. It's a generational thing. Go get them. Someone's Christmas wish should come true. Oh, I don't know. What if he tells me to get lost? Then you've learned a lot of your lesson in life. Love hurts. Wow. Rude and unnecessary. Well, just stop filling the lassie's head full of nonsense. There's no such thing as happy ever after. Don't listen to her. Like, if he tells you to get lost, he's an idiot. But if you miss out because you're too scared to try, then you're an idiot. Thanks, I think. You are welcome. I am here all night, weather dependent. Clara, everybody loves a festive romance. Colin Skink. Aye, we can do that, aye. How is it? Wet. 
Great, helpful. Two of those, please. Me bother. So what have we got? Ah, was there a particular reason you didn't want the Colin skink? I hate seafood, why? Shit. No, that's okay. Based on the rest of the menu, I don't think that soup has ever seen a fish in its entire life, so you're, you're probably fine. So we've got sullen skank for dinner. Yeah. And soup. <laughs> you know, your self-loathing has actually made your jokes better. <laughs> so, um, where were we? Oh, we were talking about your music. Oh, I thought we'd covered that. Okay, so why is your ex a bastard? Oh, usual story. Boy meets girl, boy and girl gig, girl falls for boy, boy has a secret family. All oh, right. That old classic. Sorry. Were you together long? Five years. Do you know we actually met at an open mic night? <laughs> I should have clicked when all the time we spent together was at his holiday home up here and not at his place. But I didn't. We even talked about getting married. And then today, I come up to the holiday home and I'm greeted by his wife and kid. How's that for screwed up? What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> right, your turn. The ring. Tell me about her, who is she? To be honest, I'd rather just forget about that just now. I just want to erase this whole day. If only we could put that on our Christmas list. I know. Hey, maybe we could still ask Santa for a time machine. Don't be so ridiculous. Well, he will have already left. <laughs> you know, I don't know about you, but I could um, do with another drink. Good idea. Oh, it's my rounds. <laughs> is it me or is this place severely understaffed? Well, it's not exactly Friday night of Apollo, is it? Excuse me. Yeah. Can I maybe ask a favour? Absolutely. Do you think you could play something a little bit more festive? Was it something I said? Trying to give you the cold shoulder. A bit frosty, yeah. Ah, well, she's been here, what, three days now and hardly spoken to a soul. Aye, the poor lassie. She, she told me that... I don't know, now it's not your story to tell. Oh, right you are, Ken. So I'll just uh, shut up and uh, drink my drink. Well, Aye, cheers. Slanted. Speaking of, what do you actually have to do to get a drink around here? I heard the chef walked out this morning. What he do is going to get stuck here and not get home. <laughs> he had the right idea. <laughs> Apparently it's just the manager left, pulling double duty. I'm Jim, by the way. Rob. <laughs> How'd you do? Enjoying our Highland Christmas? Not quite. So, do you come up here every Christmas? First time, actually. Spending it with my daughter. She lives in Inverness with her mum. Ah, right. You got kids? No, 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 no kids. Well, you won't understand until you're a dad, but let me tell you this. No woman will ever break your heart like your own daughter. Anyway, have a good one. Who puts an orange down a toilet? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. <laughs> there we go. 
Good idea. Here we are. Oh, oh here two for me. Right. Oh. Yep. Thank oh, you. Thank you. You want one for each hand? <laughs> oh, I need a hand. Oh, 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 oh. Generous. Don't leave oh, us out. Oh, there we are. Now there's a jacket. And there's yourself. Now. There we go. Now, I'll tell him when he comes out of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. Cheers. It was me that put in the oar. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the band to play something a little bit more festive before people in here start slashing their wrists. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. Look, um, I didn't mean to push you there. I just figure it's, it's better to let the bad feelings out, you know, rather than letting them build up inside. Yeah, it's, it's just, I don't really know you. <sighs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. We went to high school together. Proper high school sweethearts. I was the head boy and she was head girl in our year. We had everything, everything going for us. So over the years, you know, I brought up the idea of marriage a few times, but then three years ago, I thought I'm gonna properly propose. That's when I got the ring and I got our names engraved in it and everything. But she told me in no uncertain terms that she wasn't ready. And and she made me feel like like we both weren't ready and she asked me to wait, so I waited. Until today. I produced the ring again and, and I, I asked her. And I got the same answer. But this time she said that she loves me. She's not sure she's in love with me. No. So there I was, like, standing alone, thinking, how, how did I get here? How's, how did my relationship become this? What, what even was my relationship? Was it love? Or, or did love just become familiar, convenient, and I don't know, I don't, I don't have the answers, but what I do know is that 12 hours ago I had everything, just everything right at my fingertips. Now all I've got is frostbite. Lord, he 
spoke to me. He said, Bonnie, don't you see? There's a holy reason why you can't conceive me. It's your destiny to take my son from me. All you gotta do is just believe. Look for a sign that you can read. It'll say I totally you get that your heart and I am too. It's Christmas. So just let's leave all the bad stuff outside and do all the things. Yeah, but I don't think that's how it works. I don't think that's how it works. like this hotel and at the moment we are caught in this frozen bubble. We're caught off. We're out of sync from the world. So let's just leave it all outside until we return to the world. I never knew I'd been snowing. Mm. Do it 20 minutes. No, that's bad for you. You should try this instead. Oh, that is nasty. I told you so. Where did you even get it? <laughs> Cigarette machine. Covered in dust, it looked about a decade old. Oh. I think the universe is trying to tell you something really deep, like, um, quit. I've got control over nothing in my life just now except for this boosty bag, so tobacco police can do one. Point taken. It's midnight. Uh, not yet. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Do you know we should be um toasting or something? <laughs> I don't feel like toast. Oh, come on, stay in the moment. Um, to. Well, <laughs> to. Yeah, uh, lucky. Uh, to the stranded. The deserted. The lonely. The abandoned. To strangers. To strangers. I know that look on your face. I've been wearing it myself all day. It's that crushing, sick to your stomach feeling. All these years living a lie. All those years I thought it was love. If that wasn't love, then what is? Am I even capable of it? 
we'll ever find something real. Or what if we have found it and missed it because we were living a lie? No one should be alone on Christmas. You and Christmas. Tired, and I'm not really thinking straight, so I'm gonna go to bed. You should call her back. Yeah, maybe. Hey, everything will be fine. It's Christmas. You stop that, please. What? All of that childish Christmas will make everything better stuff. It won't. It's not some magical event where all the wrongs are righted. Roll up, roll up. One day only the shit doesn't stick. You can't, you can't just put a pin in feelings and leave them to a boxing day because that's, it's not how feelings work. Oh, thanks Santa for coming down on your magical sleigh and making it so as we don't have to worry about war or poverty or heartbreak. I'm so glad it's the 25th of December and now I can just be deliriously happy because who's sad on Christmas? Don't... Don't kid yourself. Or if you are, don't drag me in. Don't... Drag me into the delusion. Christmas is just... A day. Just a miserable... Shit day like all the others. Good night then. Morning. Who's it? Have you been here all night? Won't give that away. Listen, last night was, um... Did you phone her back? No. I checked the traffic, though. We're stuck here another day. If we can't go home for Christmas, then, then I'm bringing Christmas to us. Sit. I will need place settings for ten. Nine. Would you come on? Lift that rain cloud for one day. I am not going to let your negativity ruin Christmas. How dare you? You know absolutely nothing about me. You don't know any of us. 
So how dare you force your full, cheerful Christmas spirit on us? Now, I've seen your face when you think nobody's been looking. You are full of shit. And you know what? No amount of Christmas spirit is going to fix what broke you. So don't you dare drag us through this pantomime like puppets in your healing process. Grow up and leave me out of it. I'm sorry, my dear. You're just not feeling very festive. Aye. Most of the folk that are here come up to get away from all that Christmas stuff. I'm the only hotel in about 100 mile not making a fortune making Christmas dinner today for a reason. So what? The only thing you have in your kitchen is sullen skank. Guys. Come on. Really? Was that... Was that necessary? You're all here by choice, but she is stuck here. Miles from home and her family. On our favorite day of the year. She just wants someone to share it with. We couldn't give her that? She just wants to spread a bit of joy. Are we all so determined to be miserable? We can't just let someone be happy. Shame on us. I could do Christmas. I actually really love Christmas. Then why in God's name did you come away instead of staying at your mum's for the party? I've done Christmas at my mum's for years. I wanted to be with you. You should have told me. Don't take it personally, my dear. Her wife died in a car accident a few months back, and, uh, well, people say things they don't mean when they're grieving. Oh, my God. It's her first Christmas alone. Yes, well, can't blame her for wanting to pretend it isn't happening. And all this time, I have been throwing it in her face because I didn't want to admit that I was hurt. I'm such a dick. Oh, don't beat yourself up, Fred. I can't even imagine. And I thought I knew what a heartbreak felt like. Well, it's all relative. And pain isn't a competition. When my Susan passed away, I couldn't face up to it. Oh, Christ. Listen to me. Passed away. I'm still trying to soften the cold, hard truth of it. I think that's a perfectly natural thing to do. No. Well, whatever the pain and whenever it came from, we all need an anchor to help us back on our feet again. Well, that mad old bugger in there, he's my anchor. <laughs> yes, and Anna, well, she hasn't got one yet. But you... Why, I think you have in that young man. I don't know. Ship's passing in the night, perhaps. Yeah. Come on, let's go back. 
back inside the cut here to hear this fella. I think I'm going to take a walk. See if the roads have cleared any. No. Be safe. I'll be fine. I've just been speaking with your good lady. Oh, you know what I mean. She could do with a friend. Where is she? She's gone for a walk. She says she's going to see if the roads are clear. On her own? Hmm. Christ. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we got stranded. I'm sorry you didn't get the Christmas that you wanted. It's just a day. No, it's not. Look, if you've taught me anything, it's that Christmas should be about so much more than that. It's about bringing people together, and, and here we are. I don't think our paths were ever supposed to cross. You get in my nerves. We're nothing alike. You made me steal a car, and now we're freezing to death, but. There's something about you. You make me feel warm inside. But I don't know what this is, but I know that you. Gentlemen, it is my honour to have you all here at the Clachig for a very extraordinary Christmas dinner. Please be seated. Um, I, I don't understand. <laughs> well, you see, someone helped us find our Christmas spirit. <laughs> I mean, it's um, it's perfect. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is your name Tagler? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sit yourself down there, lad. Thank you. I don't suppose you saw the kids when you were outside. No, I don't think so. My Chris is a good boy. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I was a good boy too. I know what they get up to. <laughs> Aye, young love. We were there the once. Ah, surprise you can remember. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas brings out the romantic in us all. Aye, that is true. Uh, that reminds me, you two old codgers owe me 20 quid. Oh, that's not an admission, a hee-haw. <laughs> 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 What are you all looking at? We were just outside and... Snogging? Snogging. Dad, nobody says that anymore. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> Here's to the first kiss. Or as we say up here, a sheep dip. <laughs> <laughs> I think what he means to say is to young love. Bang me, you lumbering. I'm looking for new horizons, and Sid's looking for a chef, so one day at a time. Oh. I didn't know you were a chef. Are you kidding me? She's cooked all the Christmas dinner. Did you really? It's all edible. <laughs> I, I didn't know. Thank you. Well, it doesn't mean I like Christmas. I just couldn't bear the thought of you guys, after all your hard work, having to eat Sid's food. <laughs> <laughs> None taken. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I feel like there was any point anymore. They just don't need you like they used to. Oh, God, tell me about it. We were never in the same house, barely ever seen. It's lost to a generation of X stations and play boxes and I don't know. What about his father? <laughs> yeah, that shit sailed a long time ago. And if we are very lucky, it bloody sank as well. <laughs> Okay, sorry folks, bad news, the band can't get through. The road's blocked, coming through the moor. I think I'm going to be singing for our supper tonight. Oh, no, that, that's all right, we can, we can just put the CD on. <laughs> no, um, no, don't do that. You have all worked uh, so hard to give me my Christmas. So let me ruin yours. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapping your pain in tinsel doesn't make it go away. And I'm sorry if I forgot that. And I'm even more sorry if I made that harder. But my worst Christmas ever has become my best because I have met this collection of people that care. People care. There's a 
whole lot of things I've not told you It's not just because I don't want to I first must get rid of the things that I did when I needed to
Well, here we are. Yep, here we are. I can thank you. For what? For bringing me home. A little bit happier than when you found me. Well, maybe not all men are illegitimate. <laughs> so there's hope for the human race. <laughs> I better get going. Do you Maybe want... Maybe we should both... both get where we need to be. Yeah. You're right. Hey, I... See you around. See ya.